we're asked to write the equation of the line passing through the points six comma one and negative nine comma negative three. We'll determine the equation in sloped intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, where m equals the slope of the line, which is equal to the change in the output divided by the change in the input. Or in this case, because we have two points, it would be equal to the change of y divided by the change of x. And b is equal to the vertical intercept, which would be the ordered pair zero comma b. So for the first step, we'll find the slope of the line passing through these two points. So starting with the two given points, six comma one and negative nine comma negative three, to keep things organized, let's call this ordered pair x sub one comma y sub one and this ordered pair x sub two comma y sub two. And therefore the slope of the line passing through these two points is going to be equal to the change of y divided by the change of x, or in this case, negative three minus one divided by negative nine minus six. So simplifying, we have negative four divided by negative fifteen, but a negative divided by a negative is equal to a positive, so we know the slope is equal to positive four fifteenths. Because we know the slope is equal to positive four fifteenths, the equation of our line must be in the form y equals four fifteenths x plus b, where again b equals the vertical intercept, which should be the ordered pair zero comma b, which is not one of the given points, so we'll have to find b algebraically. And because these two points are on the line, these ordered pairs must satisfy the given equation. So using the equation y equals four fifteenths x plus b, let's go ahead and use the ordered pair six comma one and what we can do is substitute six for x, one for y, and then solve for b. So performing substitution, we would have one equals four fifteenths times six, but because we have a fractional slope, let's write six as six over one plus b. And now we'll find this product. Notice that fifteen and six share a common factor of three. There are two threes in six and five threes in fifteen, which gives us one equals, this would be eight fifths plus b. Now to solve for b, we would subtract eight fifths on both sides, so we'd have one or one over one minus eight fifths equals b. To find this difference, we'd have to obtain a common denominator, which would be five, so we'd multiply one over one by five over five. So notice here we have five-fifths minus eight-fifths, which would be negative three-fifths, which equals b. So now that we know b equals negative three-fifths, we can write the equation of our line. We now know that y equals four-fifteenths x, and then instead of writing plus negative three-fifths, it's more common to write minus three-fifths. So this would be the equation of the line passing through the two given points. Of course, to verify this graphically, we could plot these two points on the coordinate plane, then graph our line to verify the line does pass through the two given points. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. Here's the point six comma one, here's the point in negative nine comma negative three, and the graph of the equation that we found is this blue line here, and notice how it does pass through the two given points. Verifying our answer is correct. I hope you found this helpful.